We are about to embark on the road to Christmas in the EFL Championship and it's time for a little bit of a fixture difficulty analysis. We want to find out who has got the easiest run in to Christmas. Who's going to be Chris Rea driving home for Christmas, coasting the car in, hopefully up towards the top of the championship table. And who's going to be Tim Burton and have a nightmare before Christmas with some very, very difficult fixtures. Let's be quite frank about this. It's difficult for everybody. Look there, Friday 22nd of November to Sunday 22nd of December. We have round 16 through 22. So that is seven rounds of fixtures in four weeks. So we've got games every four days on average. We could even shrink that because I've accounted there for um, a TV game on Friday the 22nd and one TV game on Sunday the 22nd. Condense that in by one day because most teams of the majority are going to play that first Saturday and that last Saturday to knock out those seven games. Now, praise the Lord, I hear you will say, because I don't get to express my opinion on this video. We're looking at data today. Now, you can choose to interpret the data however you see fit. Just know that I'm not. I'm just presenting it here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the league table as a data source. So I've taken everybody's fixtures and the league position to work out um, you know, who faces on average the highest and the lowest league position. I've also done that for the form table in case you think, well, why are we worried about fixtures that took place in August? Um, have a look at the most recent fixtures. So we've done that and looked at the recent block from the last international break, which is the last six. We've also looked at the XG table. I know people get very emotional about that. I quite like it. So we're looking at the, um, the chances created and conceded across the whole season. And then I've averaged them all out to make a final ranking. But where does your team lie on it? Let's start then with the league table as a barometer. And there you go. According to the league table, so if you believe the league table is a highly accurate source of how difficult your opponent it is, that's up to you again. I'm just presenting the data. Sheffield Wednesday have the easiest run of fixtures through to Christmas. On average, Sheffield Wednesday's opponent is 15.86. So between 15th and 16th in the table. I can see there Cardiff, Hull, Derby, Preston, all fairly low in the table, aren't they? Blackburn, uh, an outlier there. They'd be much higher than that 15th position. Oxford and then Stoke to round it out would be higher as well. But in the main, Wednesday's run is the easiest if you believe that teams towards the bottom of the table are worse than teams at the top of the table. Who's got the hardest run? Well, this one's fascinating because look, we don't often see a 24 next to Sunderland because we normally see a one next to Sunderland. They are top of the league, but according to the league table, um, their average opponent is going to be ninth place. Um, so they're one of just a couple of teams there, well, three who on average play sort of top 10 opponents every week for that run through to Christmas and swelling that total up. Uh, Sunderland, they play Millwall, they play West Brom, Sheffield United, who are obviously second in the table currently, Stoke. Bristol City, uh, Swansea, Norwich. So to be fair, it is quite heavily weighted by those first three games, I think, there for Sunderland. They play Millwall, uh, West Brom and Sheffield United. And then it's sort of around the 9th or 10th place. So it's not a case of Sunderland are playing all the top teams, but on average, um, according to the league table, they have the trickiest run. Let's move it on then to the form table. And... It is Sheffield Wednesday once again. So what that does say to us is the form table and the league table obviously link up to some extent. Sheffield Wednesday are tied though in first for the easiest run with Leeds United. Now I'm sure Leeds fans will be very interested in the fact that I've got Sunderland as the hardest in one category and Leeds as the easiest in the other given Leeds are chasing Sunderland up at the top of the table. Um, so in terms of teams not in form, well, Leeds are facing Swansea, uh, Luton, Blackburn, Derby, Middlesbrough, I suppose, would be an informed team in that run, Preston and Oxford. So on the basis of the past six games, the teams Leeds are about to face, 
And of course, I get the argument that in six games time, we'll have a completely new form table. And um, the last game of this, we could completely reset all of this. But we only have the information we have right now. And I am presenting it. Uh, look at the bottom there. And there is managerless Coventry City, who, um, you know, have kind of shocked the championship world by firing Mark Robbins, we assume. There'll be a new manager in there for this run of games. There might not be. Sometimes it, um, it takes a wee while, doesn't it? And Coventry face Sheffield United, Burnley, Cardiff obviously are in there with Omar Reitz's boom there. Millwall are the best team in form in the league they've got. West Brom aren't in form, neither are Hull. Pompey are kind of halfway up. But certainly those first few games for Coventry, you can see why they come out as having the hardest run of fixtures according to the form table. Let's have a look at the XG. So for those of a nervous disposition about a probability statistic involving how hard it is to score a goal, look away now, I jest. Um, Pompey apparently have the easiest run. So basically the seven opponents coming up for Pompey on average are the um, easiest to play against in terms of their XG. Uh, who those people would be would be Blackburn, who you'd think are a low-margin team, good defensively, took their chances early in the season. Millwall, I think, have got a pretty decent XG, so that doesn't stack up. Swansea are fairly well down. Bristol City. Uh, Norwich, I think, all their XG is Borja Science um, smacking them in from 25 yards. So no wonder they underperform. There's perhaps uh, Derby very good on set plays and Coventry, who we've just mentioned. Hull City um, apparently have the hardest run. In terms of opponents, um, in terms of XG coming up. There you go, Luton. They're um, underperforming theirs. The, the word underperformance goes with everything Luton at the moment. Sheffield Wednesday. Middlesbrough are the kings of underperforming their XG. Yeah, we've got Blackburn in there, Watford. Uh, Coventry, uh, who we mentioned actually, they're um, big underperformers as well. Do you know, I think Hull themselves are a big underperformer, which is relevant because obviously they take themselves out of the table because they can't face themselves. Hopefully this is all making wonderful, wonderful sense. What I have done now is taken each of the positions, everybody ranked in their league table. Yes, I am a nerd. And yes, I have spent my whole morning doing this. So do hit the thumbs up button to say, well done, Ben, for your commitment to the EFL championship and the glorious clown car of a division that it can be. But I've averaged them all together to give you a final ranking of who we think has the easiest run of fixtures into Christmas. You want to be a fan of Sheffield Wednesday is track the league table. Not perfectly because you can see QPR and Watford going in there. But we already went through. Um, you can see Leeds um, pushed up by the form. You know, their opponents are not in form. Uh, QPR and Watford have obviously been fairly consistent all the way through. And there's um, probably placing quite high on all the tables to come in there. And as we said, in terms of the league table analysis, Sunderland... Um, difficult fixtures. Also, Oxford and Plymouth. Interesting, because they are fighting it out down at the bottom of the table. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As I've said a few times in this video, I am not expressing my opinion on this. It's just some data that I've presented. Normally, we get some glorious dick swinging from people who tell me how I should have presented the data. I will say two things now. A... I am a humble music student from a fairly provincial school in Ipswich. I didn't go to Cambridge and study statistics. So, yes, there is quite a good chance you're better at presenting data than me. And the second thing I'd say is all of that data is public domain. The league table, the um, XG table I took from Footy Stats. Uh, you can go to a lovely place called Google and set yourself up a YouTube channel and make your own video if you don't like the data I've used and how I have presented. If you want to throw in away games being more difficult than home games and proximity of games and do lots of complicated like stuff like that, which is too big for my brain. Um, but if it's not too big for your brain, don't tell me it's not. Go ahead and do it and let me know you're working out in the table. Let me know your thoughts. Should be an interesting thought experiment there. And check out this lovely video from yesterday where we redid our glorious 1 to 24 predictions. And dare I say the spreadsheet I've been using today might have been a bit useful for that, maybe I should have done those videos the other way around. Thanks for watching and get your views on how tricky your running is to Christmas.